Good morning and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yori Folani. I hope you had a great weekend. Um, I think it was over the weekend that we heard about um, the First Lady, uh, Mrs. Aisha Buhari, you know, uh, speaking and uh, well, essentially saying that um, generally what's going on here, we need to be very, very careful lest things get out of hand. And then the famous sentence, you can't leave everything to my husband. My husband can't do it alone. And then extending all of that to people are not up and doing, uh, who are in places of responsibility. She cited portable water. People can't get portable water, for example. But let me not get ahead of myself. I have with me Mr. Ademola Adigoke, communications consultant. As always, thank you very much for coming on, Ademola. Good morning, Indeed. everyone. Good morning, Yori, for Indeed. inviting me once again. Thank you. And then Mr. Curtis Adigba, lawyer and public affairs analyst. Thanks for having me. Indeed. Now, first of all, I don't know how relevant it is. Uh, Mrs. Aisha Buhari, um, she, her, her voice goes far. She's not an elected official. Um, f nevertheless, uh, she, w when she feels concern, she voices her concern. Is this as should be? Let me, let me start with you, Curtis. All right. Um, Mrs. Mrs. Buhari, the first lady, is not afraid to speak her mind <laughs> on any issue at every point in time. And I think we, even if you don't like her, or you don't agree with her, you will concede to her the fact that she's bold and courageous, and she speaks her mind on issues, seminar issues from time to time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. However, it is important to note that the power of the First Lady is a soft power, as opposed to a hard power, because not being an elected um, public official, but an important one, an important voice. An important voice. She's not because, an inconsequential because she voice. Because mm -hmm. she is the wife of the president. Okay. And so she gets to have a front seat role in observing and seeing how things happen. Mm. <clears throat> and the fact that she also gets to interact with the ordinary people through the wives of the governors, as well as um, the role she has chosen for her, carved for herself, the sense that she's been interacting with the ordinary folks on the street. Okay. Um, to that extent, <coughs> excuse me, whatever she says should be taken seriously. And of course, from what she said, asking the government to initiate what I have described as the program of art, the real issues, the, you know, the daily issues that people confront and battle with, I mean, have to battle with, the perception of the ordinary folks, ordinary person on the street that this government is not about me, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's about some people. Mm. Look, she talked about basic things for living, pipe bone water. Do you, how many people do you know in this country today that have pipe bone water? I grew up in a small town called Otupo in Benue State. And in the 70s and the 80s, we had pipe bone water. But yeah. that has stopped it, over 20 dry. something years ago now. Yeah. Yeah. You don't even have at all. She talked about poor electricity, you know, unemployment, everything. And basically called on all public officials in this country to accelerate their efforts in combating this issue. I think that's a welcome development. Indeed. And um, I think the vice president was in attendance. There were some ministers in attendance. And, um, you know, um, as she was speaking, as, as you say, she's not an inconsequential voice and has spoken from time to time. And um, people, what she has spoken has been a, you know it has been effective um remember the, the time she was i don't know I, I can't remember her analogy about certain animals uh, uh, around the hyenas you know she, she she will speak from time to time okay but uh you probably you know uh, agree with curtis that um uh, her I power do. is soft I, I think i do if soft is the uh, word uh, it's yeah, it's more yeah. virtual than uh, actual uh, yeah yeah the, uh, her power is soft you know um when you Look at you know they, um, well, I mean I do not even the constitution does not even have any provision for the office. So uh, talking legally, a power is soft. But factually speaking, a power is not that soft, because she wills you know as the wife of the uh, president, she wills some substantial influence to actually bring to bear on governance, and so. Um, for me, what she has said, we need no sutra to tell us that it's just the truth. Okay, we know about we know about what she said. Indeed, she is right. Hey. But you notice hey. that um, the governors' forum, 
you know, have put out, you know, b b a statement yeah. um, that, look, uh, sort of cautioning that if people are carrying um, the report of that event as if yeah. Mrs. Buhari was referring solely to governors, then they said they would consider that as mischievous. <laughs> she was speaking about uh, governments. And I wondered, uh, well, the NGF is trying to say, sorry, sorry, uh, this is my interpretation. It's not we alone now, and in any case, we're doing our best, but there is governance no, 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 at all no, no, levels. No, no, no. Even though the, it may be true that Mrs. Buhari was not referring to governors alone, but they have a lot to do, Thank you. you know, in this narrative. They have a lot so to do So when governors, through that statement, were saying that they're already uh, doing their best, in uh, other words, count us out of this. They, they are not doing their, their best. Their best is not enough. They are, they, are, they, are, they are not even doing their best, for, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Do you understand? Do we want to talk of even, you know, revenue generation? There is no state today. You know, I laugh when states uh, say uh, we can't pay, we can't afford the uh, <laughs> minimum wage and all that. There is no state that should not be able to afford the minimum wage. That is just an example. And he talked about, he talked about, um, he talked about uh, pipe bomb water. In, yeah. uh, in its uh, yeah. uh, homestead. And, and portable in, water, in, which in, Mrs. In, Buhari in, particularly the, mentioned. The same, this, I will say the same. In my own small place in Ekiti, there, we will go for um, Christmas holiday. And right in front of her family compound, there was pipe bomb water that, you know, that was accessible to everyone. You go there now. You still there today? Where will you find, where will you find it? You can't even find the pipes on the you ground. You can't even find the pipes again. So, so, these, are, so, these, are, so these are issues. So this I issue, I, that is just one example. You see, my, my, my heart aches these days. When I, you know, um, I live around, I live in Ogudu, Jari, but mm -hmm. if you drive, you know, downtown mm -hmm. Ogudu, mm -hmm. you know, you see, you know, people carrying, you know, women carrying water, you know, on the, and, and what comes to my mind is, come, but, but this, this, is this, this, we, this, is, this, this we did in 1970, thereabout. And it's still happening now. But the difference then and now is that the water we were even carrying on the earth then, you know, was supplied by government. Now, you there know, were public water taps at that time. Public water taps. Now, the women you see carrying water on their heads, you know, go to buy the water. So, or, or from someone who maybe maybe just uh, maybe he just opened up his borehole, uh, put a tap outside. In fact, in fact, most cases, if that's we, what uh, happened. If we take out the borehole today, we will have no water to drink in Lagos. In Nigeria as a whole. And now environmentally safe, safe is look, a bold. I, I think that instead mm -hmm. of the governors um, trying to reboot what the first lady said, it would have been better for them to have taken a cue from what she said and respond by their actions. Mm -hmm. is it, this, is a, this is an instance where not to say anything is better than to offer a defense. The truth of the matter is that she has not said anything that is not true. No, she what she has said is what the ordinary person thinks or believes. And so it would have been better for the governors to respond by taking note of what she has said mm -hmm. and then responding by actions. By actions. Let me give you... Uh, uh, could, could, could I come back to you? Because someone has come on the line. Okay. Uh, good morning, Mr. George. Um, well, they told me you were there waiting, Mr. George. Hello. Ah, oh, good morning. All right then. Good morning. Can you hear me now? Uh, yeah. As soon as someone turns up, something they are. Yes. I. Hello. Say something, please. Yes. Yeah. Right. We can. I can hear you now. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Greetings to everybody there. Sure. Good morning. Uncle Yori, kindly allow me to digress a little before I go to the point I want to make this morning. <laughs> okay. Uh, but short digression. Your, short. On your news scroll, okay. I've observed that for some weeks now, I keep seeing. Shawori not yet released by DSS. Is that new? I, 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 Uncle Yori, with due respect to your uh, management team, that is subjective. I wouldn't want PVC to be part of those uh, rubber rustling that some media houses are doing. So that is that. Okay. But coming to the topic for the, of the day, yes. what the first lady said is absolutely correct. I don't know why we are afraid to accept the truth when somebody says it in this country. The mere fact, the, the fact that the governors quickly rose in defense, to me, shows an admission of guilt. <laughs> Let them show us a state where, or 
all is well. This lady is the only one we have seen among our first ladies, correct me if I'm wrong, that has taken on government without being afraid that her husband may sack her or she may lose uh, the post of office. She's the first that has been able to do that. And it is positively affecting governance in the country. Instead of examining what she has said and doing something about it, all we see is defense, defense, defense without substance. The governors, I mean, look at the minister, uh, Uncle Yoru. You know, I've always called this program to complain. The president delegates power to ministers. And he doesn't, he's not the type that pursues them and put them on, 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 on the hot seat always. Mm -hmm. But the performance is, to me, is not yet average. It's not yet average. Look at power. Do we have it? Look at the water that the, 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 the first lady is talking about. In La even Lagos, that a uh, good governance is prominent, majority of houses, you know, use their own uh, water. Yes. I provide my own water in my house. Yes. I'm sure Curtis and the other gentleman are, are, must be doing the same. Yes. So, is she lying? Let's do something about what she's saying instead of condemning her. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for calling in. So, uh, so, certainly, condemnation so is like not our, a word. Like, like um, was, but, but, you know, as you said, yeah, you I, know, I, I, is it okay not being an elected official? And quite frankly, we're, asked, we're answering in the, in, the, in the affirmative that no. it is more than okay. There, she there, is a citizen, right? And George no, has just provided some background to... She has, a, she has this lie on heart, if you want. You really, that. There is no constitutional provision that you can only talk on issues when, of no, governance no, and policy. Only, it's only, only when you are elected to hold public offices. And I think she's, she's done that uh, com, um, yeah, consistently. No yes. Now, the other thing that I would have suggested that she can also do, having said that her power is a soft power, she also have access to the, the, the wives of the governors. That is if the governors listen to their wives. To their wives. To also speak to them and say, <laughs> things are not working well in the States. And we think that because you, you, you people know how influential you are. You are to your to your go, to your husband. So please, talk to them about the issues of water, um, schools, the housing for the poor. And not. look in those states, we even used to pretend and talk about housing for the people. <laughs> we don't even talk about it. <laughs> about it. <laughs> one, <laughs> one moment, please. I'm going to come back to that. Uh, Emmanuel, Mr. Emmanuel in Otuko, no. Good morning. Good morning, Chief Yuri. Uh, good morning, sir. Thank you for calling in. Good. Good morning to Koti Sadiba. Morning. Good morning to your other guest. Okay. Uh, Chief Yuri. Yeah, uh, 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 Chief Emmanuel, before you go on, uh, Curtis was just telling us about growing up where you are yes. and talking about the, the, uh, mm -hmm. the availability of water. Is it yes. still like that now? No, 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 no. No more water. <laughs> no, it, it reminds me about the last music. Water, light, food, house. <laughs> So that is the, that is what was happening here. But um, I want to differ a little. Uh, Mrs. Buhari, Aisha Buhari, is a Nigerian. I don't even want to look at her, uh, consider her from the angle of the president's wife. She has the right to air her view. But what makes her view important is the position she is holding as the president's wife. So what she has said is very true just like your analysts there have attested to. So I don't know why the governors are running riots. Um, when dry bones are mentioned in the proverb, an old woman becomes uneasy. Uh, 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 this, this, this is why I have not been comfortable with uh, Fayemi, the governor of uh, Kiti State. You know, he has successfully driven the bull from China shop. And he should settle down to arrange all those delicate ornaments in place before going. Four years is just a very short period. So if I, if I were him, if he would listen to my advice, I think he should drop that position and face governance so he can deliver for his people and write his name in gold. Thank you. God bless Nigeria. Okay. So, so Chief Emmanuel, you digressed a bit towards the end. Mm. Uh, but it's okay. It, it, it's, it's okay. okay. It's okay. Yeah. 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 You know, I think yeah. the point we are making here, we know that there are problems. And what Mrs. Buhari has simply done is to say to all of us, especially those of them that are in government, to say, look, there is a problem, and we, ha we have got to do something about yeah. it. That's the reason why we were elected in the first place. 
and I, I, I think that is a very, very important statement she has made. Now, standing up to defend, as to say, oh, you know, she couldn't have been talking about us alone. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's, we know that. She also didn't talk about them alone. Mm -hmm. She mentioned even ministers in, in the government. She did. I said there's a need for them to stop for. And like he said, look, governance is a universal concept. We see it happen in other parts of the world. Yeah. Where you see ministers hit the road and try to do, you know, hands-on kind of retail governance. You see them trying to stop it. Like I was talking to a friend last night. What does it take? If the Minister of Internal Affairs, for instance, Nigerians have been shouting over the way they are mistreated, you know, maltreated over the issue of obtaining um, yeah, passport. Interna international passport. Mm. What does it take if the governor goes to the passport office disguised yeah, in, the, the in, the, in the face cap, and I mean, the, the, the minister, and stays on the queue and tries to process to, passport? To see how it works. Yes, and to see how it works. You know, in, in reality. Yes, and then deals with the situation. All the people there will sit down, not knowing when he will show up next. What does it take? If the minister in charge of police affairs drives from Lagos to Ore without a convoy, you know, disguise himself and see what is going on on our roads, how the roads have become um, soft, soft bank yeah. for the security teams that are there. Yeah. We, did a, we, we just did a study uh, from Lagos to Asaba Bridge. 48 police and custom checkpoints. 48? 48. And people have been writing me messages to say, look, on so-so day I was traveling. I was stopped at so-so place. I said I didn't have cash. They directed me to a corner where somebody was standing with the POS, <laughs> and I went and made payment. I paid that real. Yes, and okay. I paid additional 300 naira for, for, for using the POS. Ooh. So what she's saying is real. Indeed. Uh, and we can't keep pretending about these things. Mazi in, um, Mazi in uh, Arochuku, good morning, sir. <laughs> um, that's Mazi Okorafo. Mazi Okorafo, yeah, yeah. Uh, Nigeria. Well, <laughs> there's only one Mazi uh, so far. <laughs> so far on this morning on TVC, there's only one Mazi. <laughs> no, Mazi is Mazi. <laughs> good morning, sir. Good morning, our guest in the studio. Good morning. Honest speaker, sir. The First Lady's statement is 100% correct, and it's in order. This one is not a question of criticism. Now, let me give you an instance. Drag disease is around the corner. And this drag disease is coming up now. There are a lot of viruses we get, uh, uh, airborne disease, and, uh, and you need water. And it's no but when, when you go out, uh, they are come back, you need water. Now, let me give you an example. In Aba, after my primary school, I don't know whether there is five more water in Aba. 90% of what are being used in Aba today are purely borehole from oh. people. If you cannot afford the borehole, you go and do what? And be buying water every morning. Either you go and buy or you send people to come and buy. So, so the latest thing is telling you the truth. But the question we have in Nigeria is that when the woman just come out with a truth, people will come back and start bringing us to some story with So that accepting the fault that they have a, a mistake on ground, that they will find solutions. I was expecting the governor to open their mouth and say, that, okay, let's find solutions to all these problems. But nobody can criticize that. Do you know that lack of water is a problem? When you are hydrated, you cannot concentrate. If you, as you are doing this program now, when you are hydrated now, you see that your voice will be cracking. And you need water to, to replenish the system. Now, how do you get If you don't have water, that is why you see a lot of them now. They don't have money to go and buy water. You see them trekking far to together. For example, in Arutufu, I said this in during the uh, end of this issue. If you come to an arm movie, they have a borehole. The road is divided. The other side of uh, Arutufu is Sagade. There's no water. The, people, the, the local government said nobody should cross pipe from that angle yeah. to another angle yeah. because of the major road. Mm. And it's a problem. So people in that side, they have to go to the stream. Because to cross the road to go and buy water, because to, 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 to the land, you see traffic, traffic every day. It's a problem. So what I'm telling the governors is this. They should find solutions to all this issue of water problem in their state. Because water is life. Without water, you cannot cook. You cannot do that. They should find not a question of saying the first list. The first thing they said what? Is he not saying the truth? In country, like that, if you know that you cannot listen to critics or criticism, leave the office. And leave the people who are ready to absorb the crisis, the crisis and find solutions to let them stay in the office. Because others say everywhere you go now, people, when you say, tell them the truth, 
They will start thinking, hey, yeah, this is that. For what? Mm -hmm. So everyone should keep quiet. Mm -hmm. Nobody should talk. Mm -hmm. Because you're the governor. When you finish, go to that assembly and settle down and be enjoying your money. Then. The masses will be suffering. Mm -hmm. Governors, wherever <laughs> you are, buy water for the people. That could be the most of a blessed day in Lagos. Thank, Thank you, you. Mazi Ogoro, <laughs> for in Arochuku. Mm -hmm. And in any case, um, mm -hmm. uh, the first lady, she uh, she's a woman. And Africa, uh, maybe everywhere, but especially in Africa, that's the women's department. Mm -hmm. And so they know, they, 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 they go through the hassles to, to, to bring water without which there is hardly life uh, for so many different things. And um, she actually has managed, she actually has highlighted an issue which as um, Curtis was saying and you were saying, we all know, <coughs> uh, but it's been the same way for so long that it's almost becoming like, well, that's the way it is. And I think what she's, it's like a clarion cockpit. That's not the way it is. It, it, That's not the way it should be. It, it is a clarion call to duty for all public officers. And for me, you see, we are we, we, the, the, the first lady. The first lady has spoken that there is a problem. We know the cause of the. We know that there is that problem. But we now need to. Now, why is there know, the problem? Where really? is the and why why is, is there that problem? Where, that is where, where, and then why? 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 Let's yes. let's talk about the yes. why now. Yes. And I am, and and one one reason. There are several reasons anyway. But one that I have one that I want to highlight now is the absence of a clear court guiding comp compass for governance in this country. And by and that by that I mean whichever the party, the, whichever the no. I, 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 let, let me make my point clear. No, I was just uh, checking that. Whichever you mean across board, across it board, doesn't matter what party across you're from. board. Okay. Thank God, you know, uh, Curtis was um, referring to the seventies, and you would even even you know you discover that in this during the Second Republic and we had lower resources. Uh, uh, yeah, during the Second Republic, yeah. you could identify MP and then with one or two programs. You're talking about housing. And I can remember that MPN, you know, was talking about housing for mm, all, mm, you know, mm, as mm. one of its cardinal programs. And for UPN, another party popular in the Southwest here, you know, you could also identify they had four cardinal programs. Free education. You're on a free education, free, yeah. you know. Yeah. Now I want to ask, I want to go to the streets and ask any Nigerian, what is the manifesto of PDP? What is the manifesto of uh, APC? We know people don't even know. So, and governance is driven by manifestos. We know more about the emblems. You know, so we uh, just umbrella, know umbrella and, and, the the, and the broom. Okay, but, one moment, please. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Yakub, good morning and thank you for holding on. So sorry about that. No problem, sir. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. And uh, good morning to Mr. Cortis and uh, Mr. Adimola Adiguki. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, it is, uh, Mr. I think it's uh, Dimola Adikuki or it's a coach is Adiba says that what it takes from minister to go to yeah, from start yeah, NGA. Yeah, that was Curtis, yes. Mm. Yes, to know what so, is going on. Go about. undercover yeah. to know yes. what is actually happening. So, let, let, let me add another one. What it takes minister of work and housing to travel from Lagos to Abel Kita to know the state of our roads. Because, usually, what uh, Mrs. Isaac Wari says, all Nigerian citizens know that it is true. It is true. So if a woman like that, in the position of this wife of Mr. President, can come out and tell you the governor to be true, and then they begin to raise ruler value about it. So it's very, even here in Lagos, here in Lagos, here in the home, you will see, you will see pipes, pipes put in front of my house like this, and then there is no water flowing in the pipe anymore. So Lagos as civilized as Lagos it is, you cannot even put one or two, three out in, in the government office that would drink government water. Just a very type of water. And then if you ask them, what are you doing for your people? If you say, okay, for example, I mentioned road, I don't find Lagos express to another that. I uh, don't including the uh, 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 government, if you ask them, why did you not do this road? They will say it's a federal government road. Okay, I agree. If the federal government holds the pipe bone water, so give us what I get. You cannot con construct ordinary pipe bone water for your citizens. And then if you ask them, why did you not create this school? They, they will tell you that the allocation that's coming to us it is not enough. And then you, 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 you have the resources in your state. You cannot analyze that resources. For you to give dividends of democracy to your people, come tomorrow now. If I is come again, telling them that you people 
especially House of Assembly. You have to do what the State House of Assembly did in that state. For, for, for making sure that our government did not go among us of amount of money after they leave the office, they will not try out the game. What is this? I won't concern again. So, right. Tiflori, this man, I, this woman, I give kudos to this woman. Right then. Because she's always spoke her mind. And then I will tell the woman to continue to do what she's not doing better. Because without her, some people cannot even look to Mr. President eyeball to eyeball and tell him the truth. Okay. That's why this, no. this same thing, this work of government, instead of that to be telling their husband, they'll be, they'll be, they'll be partying their husband out to look to <laughs> take money. Thank and God bless you. Thank you very much, Mr. Yakub. Yeah. Thank you very much. I've got to rush off on a break now, but don't go anywhere, please. We'll be right back. Welcome back, and um, still have Messrs. Uh, Ademola Digoke and uh, Curtis Ajigba with us. And uh, interestingly, someone picked up on, I think, something that Curtis said, and um, other people have commented on it. Commented on it. How, how much involved are those who are actually in charge of various aspects of our life? Uh, how much do they really know? And somebody, they spoke about, what, uh, how many times have you heard people uh, traveling incognito? Just mm, because mm, mm. no no entourage, no mm, nothing, mm, no siren, mm, just mm. go on there like an ordinary person, so you can get a sense of what that is you know what the, is happening the, on the streets. The, yeah, but, but so, so, some of them, so, so, so some, some of them, them are, are doing that. You know, the Minister of Works, Fashola, for example, is going about. Uh, he's all, uh, he's uh, on the road uh, a lot. Uh, Amiti, uh, uh, he's on the so, road so on a the lot. Road, but yeah. I get the idea. I get the idea. But I think somebody mentioned that. Why would the Minister of Interior not not just if it was, I don't know how that one can... Show his face at the passport guy. office across yeah. the country. Uh, but they will know him instantly. No, uh, it, no, no not it necessarily. Because, uh, because he, he can just the, go there. There's a way, uh, look, there's a way he would disguise. Uh, you wouldn't know he's the person. And then That's see the what everybody, everybody because else Because these guys sees. don't even pay attention to anything. Mm. All they they're interested they is in their money. They in their money. So, now... Uh, Shegu in Ajao Estate. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, Yorick. Good morning, sir. Thank you very much for calling in. Okay. Good morning, I'm just going to be brief. You know, I'm just going to cite three things. A lot about it. Water, light, mm -hmm. food, and house. I grew up within Surule and Badagri. And I know in those days, we used to have water. The water works were working. Even in Surule, two days ago, I was moved to here. People were fetching water from the gutter. The dirty gutter water was passing through there. And you see them, they tie it with a, what you call it, the, the a, a, entire... A, a burst pipe, right? The, Just the pipe. They, they were pipe. trying to get water from a burst pipe in yes. the gutter. Yes. And that busted pipe, let me now shock you, it's not even from the water work. It's from another borehole hmm. that is trying to feed them like uh, water in their own house. Hmm. Now, let's leave that. That is water problem. Yeah? From Orile to Badagri, roundabout. In those days, it would take you max one hour, 60 minutes. You the same of the traffic. You cannot try it now. If you don't use six hours, you're going to use four and a half, five hours, minimum. And it comes to a, it comes to a, a point where you now see federal, a legal state government. I don't want to mention the particular um, dispensation putting out signboards to say, we are sorry, we cannot repair your roads because this road belongs to the federal government. And you ask yourself, am I not paying tax? Am I not eligible to benefit basic things in this country? I tell you, sir, from A to Z, all the governors we have now, they are doing what you will call one fear, they say, let one pala, malapa. Aisha Bwari nailed it on the head. Totally. Totally. And I just pray that this country will not get to a point whereby the hungry ones will start seeing the rich people as dinner or breakfast. 
Thank you very much for calling in, Shegun. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Shegun, um, uh, the, the Yoruba proverb that Shegun, you know, uh, uh, cited there, uh, it, it's, uh, it, it really says that uh, in terms of the priorities, the governors have done very, very poorly in yeah. choosing yeah. Yeah. their yeah. priorities. Yeah. priorities. Yeah. You, yeah. you know, in, there was a time in this country when we, we didn't have as much resources as we have now, and things were better. Because yeah, then yeah, we, we had development plans. Mm. And whoever, you know, comes into the office, we take up that plan and begin to follow. What we have all over the country now is one governor starts a project, a new one comes, he abandons it because it's not profitable for him or her. Now, you can see at the federal level, the president is, has insisted that all abandoned projects must first of all be finished before, before we initiate new ones. Because whether you like it or not, these are government projects. And you know why we need government? We don't just need government for the structure. We need government to do things for us, the things we cannot do for ourselves. Okay. That's exactly. the purpose of government. You're right. That's, You're right. That's, That's the purpose of government. The, okay, let, 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 so, <laughs> let, let, let me bring in uh, uh, Femi uh, oh. from Sur from Surulere, where, again, yeah. people used to take, uh, you know, uh, running water in taps for granted. Hello, Mr. Hello, sir. Femi, yeah. are, are, you, are, you, are you still, do your taps still work in your part of Surulere? No, there is nothing like that. There is nothing like that. There is no, all of us know that one. There is no clean water. So, but what the woman said, what the woman said was, look, I don't know what to know. But the way, where I'm going to come in is why we do it like that and what can be done. And, and they said the priorities that the governors, for example, are, 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 are choosing are poor. What I'm saying is this. Government, new priority. government houses. It's not priority. What I'm not saying is that what what can be done? Okay. Most of most of these governors, we have lost touch with civilian governors. Most of them are people like this in government. So part of the issue. Then number two, you cannot spend money without making money. Most of these governors, they are so much reliant on the federal education that they are not planning on how to make money in their state. The money uh, financial spent in making uh, overhead fees, if he has spent that money in making empowering uh, people where he can collect that, he could have been better. Most of them are not concentrating on how do I make money. They are only concentrating on what they are just going to get immediately, immediately. Thank you. Okay, well, okay, again, so we go I, back I, to the practice. I, 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 I think he also, <laughs> thank God he mentioned the kitty. And he talked about the overhead bridge. But even beyond the overhead bridge, talking about priority, maybe he forgot to add that uh, the same uh, fire shade dispensation uh, chose to build uh, an airport in Ekiti. And you look at the proximity of Fado Ekiti to Akure. So even the Akure airport is underutilized. Mm -hmm. you know? So, so the, the issue of priority will always come in. What have the governors made their priority? If you leave what you ask, what should be the priority, you know, and it's not as if, it, there is hardly any state today that you get to that you don't find, you know, people sitting on uh, poopy sitting on the floor, um, um, uh, leaking, uh, leaking, uh, leaking, leaking classrooms and all that. So, and yet you see governors appointing, um, you know, a, a, a legion of aides, you know, a, a, a PA this, PA that, all this. If we really cut down on the cost of governance mm -hmm. in this country, perhaps there will be more money to spend on developmental projects that can impact on the lives of the people. Okay. Uh, Wale, uh, in the UK, good morning, sir. Yes, good morning, Uncle Thank you very much for calling in. Yeah, um, I'm happy to contribute to the program going on. Um, yeah, what I would like to say is that um, when we look at the way um, our governors are running the affairs of their state. You begin to wonder whether most of them really lack what is called common sense. In this age, the governors should really be interested in human capacity development. But what we have seen so far is misplaced priorities. They're just waiting for the allocation to come and then they squander on less important projects. That is not going to take us anywhere as a country. So we have to begin to talk to the heirs. 
how is it possible? I remember growing up as a child in Ijebu. I remember then, during the military era, that there was pipe-bomb water flowing every day. Everywhere. And they were so clean. But nowadays, you cannot get that. You have to develop borehole by yourself. You have to do all these things. Yeah. In the present day Nigeria, that is appalling. Mm. We need to begin to talk to these uh, uh, people. Awesome. We need to let them realize that the future they refuse to build today will come back to haunt them and their generations in future. I so much appreciate the guests over there. The, uh, Mr. Curtis Adiba is my very good friend on Facebook. Oh, thank He's you. A very, very objective person. And the other man also is speaking Mr. objectively. Mr. I really appreciate them. Uncle Yori, I enjoy your program. Keep it up, sir. Thank God you very bless. Much. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you much for coming. Mr. Yori, two things happened in the course of last week. I don't know if you, if you paid attention. One was the governor of Zamfara State yes. refusing to pay 10 million upkeep allowance outside of former government, outside of the, of the pension. This is a man who already paid himself 360 million when he was living. I wrote a letter that his upkeep for four months had not been paid, and that triggered something mm -hmm. you know, that led to the devolution of that law. Now, the second thing that happened was a 62 or 63 year old man in the video that trended um, last week, asking Mr. President to give him his portion of the 2020 budget <laughs> directly <laughs> so through his governor so he can manage his life. And, and the reasons he gave is, one, he said, at 62, he's never, he, he's never lived in a government house. He doesn't have money to build one. He's never used government hospital. He's been using herbs. His house does not have electricity. He said, so give my portion to the Jigawa state governor to give to me. Uh, now, the only problem with his, uh, with his, uh, with his request is that the same governor has been receiving money on his behalf, on his behalf. for years <laughs> and has not given it to him. So <laughs> I don't see how the governor will deliver this one to him. <laughs> but, but beyond that, that is the feeling of most Nigerians. What is the budget about? You go to the budget, they say they are doing roads. At the state level, in so many places, you say, look, we are doing roads, we are building hospitals. You know, and you can't see these things on ground. So maybe it has come to a time when we should start demanding for of our personal portion uh, so we can manage our lives. So, okay. Uh, uh, do I have a Mr. Johnson from Geneva? Given has actually make us have the opportunity to hear what is going on at home. So I need to commend you. Hello? Hello, good morning. We're here, Mr. We're Johnson. Here. Good morning, Uncle Yori. Good morning, good morning, sir. Is that Johnson? Did yeah, I get the Johnson. name right? Nice to hear from you. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, TVC, for giving us such very objectivity, you know, in your analysis. Thank you, sir. We quite appreciate you. Uh, concerning the issue, I want to digress a bit, please, uh, about the issue of what you pasted. I think it's, it's proper, you know, it's part of the objectivity, you know, that your station has shown that you give us the latest information. So what uh, Mr. John was condemning, I don't think is proper anyway, because you have been here to all to let us know what is going on uh, talking about the in the yeah. system. Oh, so, oh, apart from that, okay. oh, coming okay. to the issue, mm. yeah, coming to the issue, is it, I want us to always be very, very... Uh, uh, objective when we are talking in the country. Uh, the vice, uh, I mean, the wife of the presi president said, it's very nice, it's very commendable, but let us ask ourselves. There was a time she raised the issue of the problem of presidential clinic. I think the, the, we, are, we are now about uh, four or five years to, to government. The question is, what has been done to that? Can we blame governor? Is there any governor that is controlling the presidential clinic in Asso Rock? Yes, Some time ago, we had that she traveled to she uh, she traveled out to go and uh, take care of she herself. Did. The same thing with president. And this was the promise they made even before they came in. So I see no reason why we have to. Let us face the reality. Let us ask her first, what role has she played? in the issue of presidential clinic, that the first lady family cannot be taken care of in that place. So I don't think, just like uh, people say, I, I, I think herself supposed to use her 
are influencers as well, mm -hmm. okay, to correct what is going on within our immediate, immediate environment. Okay. Because you mm -hmm. start throwing stone to, to the outside world. People are frustrated everywhere. So she should not do that she should need to talk with Mr. President. All right. Okay. Okay. Mr. Johnson, please in Geneva. I shouldn't be frustrated. Mr. Johnson, as somebody is observing, you're, you're speaking to us from Geneva. You shouldn't be frustrated. Uh, um, you, you can't. <laughs> I, uh, if, if he is I, frustrated, I was in, I was in Geneva last week, and I don't think people who live in Geneva should be frustrated. Uh, you know, but the, uh, the, the, the other matter is that um, she was saying that. Look, Not only governors. My, my, my husband can't do it alone. Yeah, you know. Yeah. We all mm. of us you know, have to have a hand on the plow, and she was saying otherwise something will give the way she is she's seeing it. Uh, you see, we, we, uh, that, that's exactly the way to interpret um, Mrs. Aisha's um, uh, statement, that so, if nothing is done so quickly, something will give. And from the example that he just cited about a man, you know, requesting for his own yeah. portion of the budget, it's an indication that you know, something may give an, you know, an, a, any time. Okay. He doesn't because, believe in because, government anymore. Be, yeah. be, because what, what, you know, how sweet will it have been if it were possible for government to give each one of us its own allocation <laughs> of the budget? But we know, we know, you know, we know the end result of that, yes. anarchy. Yes. Because what that means is that there will be no, there will be no government anymore. And what does government do? What we have all done is to subsume our own personal interest, each individual interest within the collective interest to say, government, please hold in trust for us. And when government now fails to hold, you know, that interest in trust for, for then it then means that we, you know, we will, it, uh, anarchy will follow. Mm. So for anarchy not to follow, we need, you know, we are uh, all. All, all officials at every level across you know across board must you know have a hands on you know approach to governance you know, it's such big, that it's a big yeah. problem this uh, mm. as you were speaking i was mm. just recalling that mm. when minister fashola was governor mm. of lagos and the whole matter of water supply yeah. uh, or the lack of it came yeah. up um, i think he took us down memory lane and those days when taps were running freely uh, the iju water works was uh, highly uh, present Apparently, the, the lead pipes from that time, uh. nothing has really been done so much so that it's now overwhelming because it wasn't done sequentially, systematically, no, no, no. periodically. He talked about development plan. Yes, yeah. He yes. talked about development so, plan. Uh, now, and, 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 and it's, it's like mm, never problem. It's like the, it's like so, the power problem. Mr. Elori, the mm, other mm. issue that we're not dealing with, I, I think, is the mindset of those that occupy our public offices. Mm. Look, when government work for the people, it is not an act of charity. It is a legal responsibility. Uh, it is. Imposed on them by the extant laws. We Go, have, look, people we in government don't do charity when they work for the people. Mm. Mm. They are not doing charity. So right. when, when some, a governor pays salary, he's commended. Yeah. What is he elected to do? When a government, a governor works on the road. Uh, build schools. He builds schools. Or then, uh, you know, it, it, it mean, boreholes are constructed. They are, they, are, they, are, they are inaugurated with fanfare <laughs> and money spent so much. The reality is that, look, there needs to be a mindset change. There needs to be a shift in how we approach power. Yeah, but it's simply I, I, about I, service that, delivery that, to that the people. what APC said, I mean, that it's all about. Yes, but... You know, that, that's the funny... There's that's no the funny political thing. party. That's what, that's, that's what he said it's it was a, all about. The, 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 single, the single word logo, change. There is no uh, political party that has not promised change in one word or the uh, other. Uh, okay. um, so all they do is, is just to get the votes. Mm. Christian, so we uh, need, Christian, <laughs> Christian in uh, Cross River, good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. Thank you for calling in. Go ahead, please. Good morning. Okay, uh, I, I actually wanted to com um, commend you guys. Uh, TVC, you guys are doing a great job. But I want to comment uh, on the particular issue concerning uh, the wife of the president, you know, what she said, and the director of the I want to thank kudos because she just spoke the mind of, like, our oh. mind, because oh. we, the less privileged, she spoke our mind. Okay. And I want to also remember that uh, my father was, uh, during the First Republic, my father was the first, um, first president that um, River Jazz Assembly. When we were growing up, I, I, I know that uh, in our compound, there was five bomb water on the street, Victoria Street, and the road. just name it all over. There was all over everywhere. There was five bomb water. So we go outside and buy and, and, and fresh water. But this time around, you find out that there's no five. Everybody has no, no, no more water on the on, on, on the street. Isn't like that problem for life. And you also find out that when 
you want to talk about the people say, ah, why don't, leave, don't talk about that, leave it for the government, leave it for the government. Somebody has to speak for us. Somebody has to speak for us. Even we, we don't have a, we don't have a room on avenue to go and complain our mind. Mm -hmm. But she has just spoken our mind. I want to thank her, and I also want to thank CBC for bringing such a program. I want to advise the government to do, to, to do things for, for the poor people like us. We pay our taxes. 1990, I've been working, I've been paying my tax, but I've never seen anything that I've been able to from the government. But I also want to thank my, 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 my governor, my liberty governor is trying, but just when it comes to roads construction and all the rest, if they are trying, and we, 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 we need them to help us, please, we, we, they should help us. And you guys will bring the forum here. We, the public can come and, and you, know, you, know, you know, say our mind. All right, please, Thank you, guys. You guys thank, thank you very much, Thank you very much, Christian. Thank you very much, Christian. He mentioned water and combined it with power, mm -hmm. you know. And that's what you have what, what you have happening now. Um, people have boreholes and then have to power, they you know, have to they, power they, it they have to power it themselves. Uh, and then some, or, or why we don't states. have a total crisis is that a lot of people now run a, a, an extension tap outside of their yard to the yeah. front for, for people, for, to, for, people to, for, for neighbors to benefit either to from. buy or what? look so, gratis some, some buy some, some buy some sell what, what has happened that, that is, to the, that is to what the virus happened. attempt by state governors to generate power mm -hmm. spending billions and trillions of naira in the process of setting one indep independent power uh, plant in their states and not look the, the, the problem and that's why i say that look instead of the, the, the governor's forum trying to offer a defense to what she has said mm -hmm. or the ministers because she was i mean her statement was was generalized it, was. it wasn't that, about governance alone now. yes like she I mean, didn't mention also. no look uh, don't think so, that she was talking about us for me this is a call to arm by those in government that look things are getting out of hand the situation we talked about the 70s and the 80s how things were even better with lower resources much better that's, that, that's Look, you could, you could that's argue that the population was not as big as that, yeah. but the function and the duty of government is mm. to plan for the future, mm. create yeah. a bridge yeah. into the future, and Indeed. plan around it. Uh, it's uh, Joshua in Iriwale. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Thank you for calling in. And I greet your guest. Sure. My own shortly, I, I just want to say that she is uh, speaking to the need for us to properly understand the structure of government. I think we need to start focusing on institutions rather than individuals. Nigeria has become a narrative where everything is wrong. We blame it on Buhari. Sometimes forgetting that we have gotten on in states and all that. So I think it's about understanding the structure of governance. Uh, maybe the National Orientation Agency should do more mm -hmm. to educate us. The, board, uh, the part of the president's uh, job is defined constitutionally. So, Bob, for me, I just want to commend uh, the first lady we have presently. She's such a decent woman, okay. and she's using her influence of words very positively. So I commend her. All Thank right. you, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Rewalina. Mm. As somebody has observed, <clears throat> look, she has spoken the truth. She's spoken her mind. She's spoken what everybody already knows. But um, now, because she spoke, and she is the first lady, now the whole world has heard it. Mm. You know, mm. uh, But it's not the first time. And so there's a matter of Maybe people will just wait for it will blow over. This too will pass, and then we'll go back to where we were <coughs> before. But she doesn't want that. She wants to catalyze some sort of change. Do you think, what do you, what do you think of the chances of that? Uh, yeah, you see, the, 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 the first lady has spoken. It is left for the people to take it up from there. Um, the, the last person talked about, you know, reorientation. Um, I think there is that need for reorientation. A re, you know, a, 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 we need to do a mind reset, you know, <laughs> about governance. Yeah. Well, yeah. A, a, and that's, a, the, most, that's a, the most difficult adversary you can possibly have, a, a, a the mind, mind. A mind reset. Well, the mind both, you know, is the most difficult adversary both, you can both, have. Both so when we're saying it in English, rulers, we know that yeah. what, you, what you have said is yeah. almost impossible without a concerted effort. Uh, yeah, both on the part of the rulers, you understand? And you talked about the rulers seeing, it, seeing governance as they are doing you know, people charity. You know, charity. They, are doing, they are doing people a favor. On the part of the rulers, there is the need for that mind reset. Okay. And on the part of the ruled, too, yes. there is that need you know, for that mind reset to know that people need to be held accountable you know, for what we have asked them to go and do. 
and also the demands we make of them. You understand? Because when they go and we think that, you know, we have the mindset that they have gone to, you know, uh, bring the booty, mm -hmm. you know, to <laughs> us. And so we keep making demands. W once we keep making those demands, they, you know, they go with the mind that I will come back, people will ask, will make demands of me. So let me, you know, uh, bring as much as possible. People, to to buttress his go. point, uh, former go. Senator Ojodu mm. wrote an article last week mm. uh, where he talked about the burden he's had to carry over the years because he was once in the Senate. <laughs> <laughs> and, and people thought that he went and just blew up the Nigerian Treasury yes, and now. took the whole money. So, and so wherever he goes, yeah. up to now, somebody wants assistance. So, 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 something because he was a, a one-time senator and the money must remain. Right. So, but again, so, you cannot blame the people because they also have become victims of poverty that the public officials in this country will punish against them. Mm. And so mm. It's difficult to, to so place. To How, however, uh, well. the people can set agenda yeah. for yeah. those in government about what is more important to them, you know, instead of the handout. Indeed. Instead of well, the handout. We, yeah. Instead we, of the handout. Uh, most mm. people have said, just about everybody, in fact, you know, uh, has mm. said kudos to uh, Mrs. Buhari for uh, bringing this whole matter up. She hasn't told us anything new, but then she's, she's put it out there where everybody can hear it uh, at the same time, as opposed to politics being what it is. And uh, people seem to have Whereas the government, uh, the governors are rebutting uh, what they see as her criticism. People are even now saying, even the governors themselves, rather than doing that, let them speak with their actions. We don't even want new things. Let us let's go back <laughs> to the old things that we had. To the old things that we had. Let's not talk about new things when we don't. Uh, uh, <laughs> thank you very much, uh, Curtis Adiba <laughs> Thanks. and uh, Ademola Adigoki. Thank Thanks. you, gentlemen, Thanks so much. for sharing your Thanks perspective. So okay, so that's our program. Please join us tomorrow for a fresh edition. I am Yori Polani. Bye bye for now. Thank you.